We have really, as a country, lost this sense that we're all in this together. What we have in Indianapolis today is what I consider to be economic apartheid. I would use the word community. We have a community here, and it's moving more towards family. Hi, I'm Cameron. I've been homeless for over 13 years. I'm here because I lost a job, and I'm trying to look for a job. I smoke weed, you know, because, you know, it keeps me one trying to kill myself. This shit is depressing. They are just good people, everyday people, people who just need some special attention. And if somebody wants to be homeless, they can, but they can't infringe on the rights or the laws that govern our society. When they threaten to shut down the camp, they never say that being outside is a bad thing. They want to put you different places. In reality, some of it's play hide the homeless. I mean, we all know that. You quote the city. You guys just quote the city. You don't investigate. Nobody knows that these are going to be condos. It's all news to them. That came down this morning. He said, we got till the 19th of this month. Yeah find somewhere to go. It would be different if that was helping us with a way to get out. If you don't, you can be convicted of a felony, and we will throw you in jail. You just can't kick the, the poor and get them out of the way in any city. You don't do that. We understand that we have constitutional rights, and we understand where we stand with the Constitution. It's a shame, man. They call this place a murder. I'm a human being. I want to go to work. I want to get back on my feet. Nobody's there to help. We know we're right. You know that we're right. Now let's just see how far you're willing to go.